Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines 2 here in our Skylines Not Included City. In the previous episode we spent a whole bunch of money but we also established an outside connection towards the outside world so we are actually now losing money but not at a really high rate and sometimes there are bursts of exports where we just make some money apparently. So from what I've gathered in the comment section this number here is correct but it doesn't include Include the exports you're making. I just saw one of my big buildings here got destroyed. Let's go ahead and rebuild it. Let me actually see. Do we have some households here? Yeah, these seem to be all occupied, but I guess we do have to give them a little bit of infrastructure because if we check out some services, some of the coverage isn't that great. Actually, let me get a mailbox up there. Yeah, I think I want to see a mailbox and maybe even a taxi stand here. EU taxi stand. Yeah, I want this to be right next to to the mailbox. Now what else do we need to do? I kind of feel like slowly but surely maybe adding a bus line, you know, just connecting the three areas. I also would like to improve on how we connect them with the highway. So maybe let's have a look at the map. What am I gonna need? Like I want my highway to go from here, like all the way over there and kind of take a turn. So I'm gonna be needing these tiles at least. I already have this available, so we could at least do the curve. If I got all of these tiles, what would that mean? Seven of 13 permits used. Hmm. Yeah, let's maybe purchase those guys. And that actually gave us a little achievement. That's so funny. There's a little bit that we cannot use to build but everything else should be fine. So what I intend to do is get rid of this highway and lead it through here. Maybe we'll have to reshape this rock industry a little bit. Now the weather isn't really great. I might just wait until the snow disappears again so I have a little bit of a better overview. Now this is going to be my main highway. So I want this to be a at least four lane road. I don't really know. Is this going to be larger or can I just later on upgrade this? But I do like when you connect them together that they just split into these lanes. So I guess eventually we're just going to do some lane math and right now I want to use the parallel road tool here. So we're going to get started with just three lanes that should be plenty and what happens if I do this? Yeah then I can upgrade them if I upgrade them towards the outside. This is actually perfect. So now I can just go ahead and make this turn that I wanted. Now let me see. We probably are coming from here. So we would be doing something like that and then just keep on going. Yeah, I think this will actually turn out right even without waiting on the snow. Man, I love the parallel road tool though. I would like to see this eventually being flattened out a little bit better, but we're gonna be taking care of that as soon as the need emerges. Now we're gonna need some intersection here. Do we actually have intersections already pre-built in this game? Yeah, probably here. Ooh, okay. We just need to unlock them. Underground parking buildings. Ah, oh, that's great. Grand Bridge automated parking building. Oh my gosh, with lifts and everything. Well, let's go for the intersections next. I want to see what types of intersections we have and maybe we can use one of these in order to accomplish our goals. Hmm, this is actually much nicer than I first anticipated. Good, now we have some livestock industry here and we also have the rock industry. It's a little bit of a shame to already delete them, but I think they level up rather quickly. Like these farms are already level five. They will be thriving even if I redo them. Them. So for now I'm just gonna delete a couple of these nodes and I'm gonna be redoing them later once I got the new shape of the highway and I want to remove this road here as well. Then these highways here they should eventually connect together so I'm also gonna get rid of this entire intersection here. All of this can finally go giving me a little bit more building space and this can go as well. Okay, I can kind of see this working like so. So we can still have a connection towards the outside here. And then this is gonna be our new intersection location. Wait a second, maybe a partial clover leaf is gonna be better for this. So we can have like a connection to all sides. What is this road? Yeah, honestly, that is actually not too bad. Just gonna set it up like so and see how that works. Mm -hmm. Good, and now we just have to switch to three lanes somehow and connect this nicely. Give me something 180 degrees, okay, and connect this together. How does that look? 
it's kind of weird. I guess we want to upgrade these roads here as well. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, maybe let me redo the entire part there. I think I got it right here. Now I can connect it up. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. We just want to have this three lanes. And essentially, I want my bridge to be right here. Now, what type of a bridge are we going to choose? Let's see. Three lane highway, one way suspension bridge is probably going to be it. But it looks like we need to increase the offset a little bit. Okay, that's a bummer. We can do as close as two. So if I just bring this over here, that doesn't look too shabby. I'm gonna switch to my three lane road and hook these up. Now we need to decrease the offset again. Yeah, hook this up like so. Oh no, I was still elevated. Whoops, there we go. Now I think I got it. I just have to fix this little bump here. And we might be able to do that just by adjusting the segments one after another like this one here is gonna go in a little bit more okay this isn't doable i think i have to just adjust it individually so if i do this one separately it's gonna work line this up and connect it okay okay nice for now i'm gonna accept this and we're gonna connect this highway in any shape way or form possible like this one here really doesn't matter yet i just want to hook it up and then i guess we can just have a medium road connecting up to this and connecting up to this guy. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna replace this entire road, though do I really want that? Let me see. Let's just do it up to this point. And then here, I think I'm just gonna bring these together. This also really doesn't matter how it's hooked up just yet. I love the new road building system. This just makes everything so much better. Okay, now they can go this way, that's fine. Do we have the highway connected here as well? Hmm, technically I don't really need this, but I'm gonna leave it hanging in all of this. This part here is still gonna be redesigned once I know what I'm putting up with and just for a brief moment we're also gonna hook up this industry maybe increase the size again a little bit in order to make up for the lost area okay good the most important part to me was the highway that goes along here so with that in consideration I want to build my city and now all we have to do really is hook this up to the next highway can I do that like I want it to connect to this rope for instance instance. And then eventually this part here isn't gonna be necessary anymore. All of this road can go once I purchased the tiles. Yeah, actually, let's do this part here as well. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this shebang here and then directly connect it up. So my highway would be continuing here, connecting up with this road, like so. Wonderful. As we get closer to building near the highway, I'm gonna reshape the terrain, maybe in some spots to make it look nicer. But for now, this should be good. Now we only need to check that we still have the power looks like power is flowing here but we do need to connect the rock area here and probably also with the switch so just have this right there okay Good. Now, technically, we should be able to unpause the game and everything is still working, hopefully. Oh, no, I totally cut off the power here as well. Yeah, honestly, just a little bit this part here. Okay, and you should be happy too now. Great. Then we just have to redo the highway here as well, but I guess that's going to be a while down the road. Pun not intended. And in the meantime, I think we can now focus on growing our city again. Now, the question is, why is nobody moving into this house? Like, zero households in here. That seems a little bit suspicious. Okay, looks like we have a little bit of demand for offices. I would like to grant you guys more, of course. Now, what did I do here? Yeah, there could be some more offices and that actually already satisfied the demand more than enough okay we also have some medium density demand which should be satisfied here and yes indeed more buildings have appeared now and then when it comes to low density i would like to add some more here it is time low density buildings we're gonna add some of them here and then i guess i could have a few more here yeah let's do the last one over there this one here could just be one block of mixed building yeah i like where this is going and immediately we have some more office demand which i want to take advantage of to build some more here and actually it would be great to see high density offices here on the top so i'm gonna build my low density somewhere here Oh, just wanted to get rid of the white, but I forgot that was snowing. So I can definitely see some office buildings being created here as well. Yeah, that actually is fitting. I also really like the road layout here. By the way, it looks like we're now making a money again. That means we can spend some more probably. And as mentioned, I would be interested in setting up a little bit of public transportation. The easiest would be just a bus. Well, no, the easiest is the taxi. But look at all these taxis. I think we can reduce the amount by actually 
actually having a boss depot. Now, where is this boss depot going to be? I'm thinking right here. This would be fitting. Like we have the taxi depot here. No, that's the landfill. But somewhere here, we have the taxi depot. I cannot really fit in the boss depot as well here. But maybe with a little bit of terraforming, we can add it here. I would like to continue my road right next to the landfill. So this is going to go up here. Give us a tiny bit more space. And this is going to be the space for our bus depot just like that. Look at this doozy. Very nice. Our first public transport. We could upgrade to electric buses or give them an extra garage. For now, I don't think this is necessary. All we need to do is set up a bus line, EU bus stop sign, and we have a stop shelter. Now I'm guessing one shelter would be great per district that we have. So for instance, we start right here with a shelter and I would say it makes sense to have this nearby the school. So we're going to have a shelter right there. I want to see another shelter make sense near the shopping area, right? So maybe have a shelter right here in this corner. Ooh, they like it. And then of course the school district kind of makes sense to have a shelter here, maybe right there and another one here on the top. Even these guys were actually happy about that, but I would like to see another one maybe in each of these outer tiers. Yeah, I would say near the park area makes sense. So maybe one is gonna go there. Now, can I do bus lines? Okay, bus lines, do I need a stop sign for each stop that I set up is now the question. And it looks like I can create a stop here and then I can build the stops wherever I want, right? So we could say, for instance, we pick up some more people here. Okay, actually, that's a bad idea. Let me go into this direction first. We might want to do the industry. So have a stop here inside the industry and then have a stop here as well. Then I want to pick up some more people. And next up, we're going to make our way to the second district here. So hmm, there's nothing on this road. We probably want to end up somewhere here. My bus stop is here. So I'm going to do one stop here and then go to this guy, of course. Next, we can continue along the road here and set up another stop maybe here. Let me see. Where do I have it? Oh, no, we don't want to forget about the college. This probably should be connected. So maybe let's add a stop here and then go all the way over to the other side. Ah, this is actually inconvenient. Yeah, I think I will have to move this shelter over to the other side and get rid of this guy. Okay, can I now go back? back oh no where's my bus route no don't tell me oh, gosh do i really i have to do it again okay i have to do it in one go this is kind of mean because i want this to be a huge line in this case i kind of got to make sure that we already have this connected for instance like so well doesn't really matter once i reshape the roads i think the bus line is going to update automatically ah interesting so i might want to set up all the bus stop signs first like where do i want a bus stop i want one here and an extra lane is actually going to be created so we can do another one here and then i'm just going from stop sign to stop sign so there will be another one here and then the shelter we got going on i would then make my way over to this station here and potentially go down here again make it over here and then continue to the first area again. Now, I think this makes a lot of sense for this route, like actually not having too many bus stops, just a few in order for the commuters to be picked up. They go over here, you go over there, and then we make our way over to this district, go down to the school district, and then make our way all the way back to this guy again to complete the route. I can kind of see this working. We don't have to be too excessive just yet. Now, let me see those buses there is one there's another one how many are we gonna have on our line i think there's a way for me to see that on the phone wasn't there like a category yeah transportation here okay now i can see my buses doing stuff and they're probably just distributing amongst the bus line that i just created yeah some of the buses continue along the line and wait a second is it already on fire are you freaking kidding me it's been here actively for like five seconds and it's already on fire bus okay the fire engine just arrived thank you so now i can see currently 516 people per month are using the taxis and our bus line has just been established now where the heck are the buses they seem to be all over the place let's maybe check out one of these shelters are people actually waiting on the bus yeah look at that oh my gosh my people were desperate for public transport i didn't even realize holy cow can we even serve 
so many people. Oh no, this is gonna end badly, isn't it? Vehicles in use 10 of 25. So technically we have a bunch more vehicles that we could use for this route if it is such a popular thing to do. Now, will you look at that? My demands are going through the roof. Does this have anything to do with what we just did? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Currently we have 417 people using the buses and it looks like the interval here where the buses come to the stops isn't high enough. Well, maybe, maybe it was just an initial boost here. Yeah, look at that. There's already the next bus and people are still using it. Okay, we got rid of the people that were initially waiting there. Very nice. Yeah, I think overall this is going to be a substantial improvement. So now instead of building more shops and industry, we're going to go for offices. Well, maybe a few more shops could be good, but we can now also satisfy a lot of the demand with offices. And of course, also high density housings. Let's make sure we continue with our pattern here. I wanted to have a large building here and then we're just gonna do a tiny one. No, actually this one here we could be using for a pathway. But yeah, I guess we now can get a substantial population increase and I also would like to finish the medium-sized building. So we have some uh, medium density housing here. This part here I would still like to fill up and the same thing on the other side there. Very good, I gotta say, this made me feel happy introducing the public transportation for the first time. We could maybe already think about unlocking something else in that regard, like the trains, tram, subway. Subway is really good, that will be used here in the upper tier. And then of course, airport and space center, nice. Yeah, you know, let's just spend a few points like train and trams would be nice to have unlocked. How many points do I have left? 12 points, so we are gonna unlock this subway as well. I'm not gonna go ahead and build it immediately but connecting the districts with subways is really a advantage. Good now we still have a couple of guys with high rent. Let's maybe build some low rent housing like we just built a few low rent housings here. Uh, let's try a two by two, no three by three probably, new no, three by four. Wait a second. Ah, of course, we don't have the demand yet. Man, I wish there was some medium density low rent housing. Well, I guess right now we want to leave the game running. What was that? That was like a heart notification. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Let me check again. We now have trains, trams and subway. And if I'm not mistaken, we can add like tram lines directly onto the road. We don't even have to like rebuild them and this is absolutely amazing. So there are so many things that are better in City Skylines 2 despite of all the negativity. I don't see a future where I'm gonna go back to City Skylines 1 unless they just don't add any mod support. That would be the most horrible thing. We're already up to 1500 people using public transportation even more if you count the taxis and we can also see that currently we seem to be able to pick up all the people. Let's actually check with the larger district here. We should have a stop somewhere here. Yeah, there's my bus stop and there are no people just waiting. And the next bus here is already in sight as just two or three people are waiting. Very nice. Whoa, what a crazy bus driver. Well, well, to wrap up the episode, I would say we need to complete the bus route because every bus route, of course, also needs a way back. Otherwise, if somebody wants to go from this district all the way to here, no, actually all the way to here, they will have to do a really big detour. And so the way we're going to do this is by copying the same thing we already have going on, just on the opposite side of the road. So right here, we have another stop on the opposite side and the same thing here. No, wait a second. That is just the bus. That is not a bus stop. Let's go over here. Another shelter on this side and we continue to the final district. Shelter right here at the college and shelter right here in the second tier district. Good, we're gonna try to drag the exact same line, but it's gonna go backwards. So the first thing we have to do is move into the college area, then continue up here into the district and then go down over here, go down to this stop there and finally come back to the first district. Let's see those lines. Maybe I can change the color of one just slightly so we can distinguish them better. And there it is. We now have the line going both ways. That makes me happy and hopefully my citizens too. Right now we seem to be struggling a little bit with high rents. So it could be that we need to build the university even though we are technically not ready but we do need more educated people with higher income. But I would say with that out of the way we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching 
guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.